Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to a new presentation. Now, I am going to discuss how to interpret the forest plot. First, example objective. The example objective is to assess the influence of smoking on death, where the exposure variable is smoking habit which is the horse exposed. On the other hand, the outcome variable is death, which is also horse outcome. Generally, to test the hypothesis for binary outcome, we use horse ratio, risk ratio, or risk difference. If we use risk ratio or horse ratio, then the value of risk ratio is 1 represent the no association. On the other hand, if the risk ratio greater than 1, then we can see that the factor is risk factor. However, if the value of risk ratio is less than 1, then we can say that the factor is protective factor or the decrease in risk. For example, if risk ratio is 1.3, which is greater than 1. So, it is clear that the factor is risk factor. Similarly, there are four examples. So, based on the first example, this is the risk factor but not significant because the interval contain, the confidence interval contain 1. That means the lower value is less than 1 and upper value is greater than 1. So, it is not significant. However, based on the second example, the risk ratio is 1.50 which is greater than 1 and the confidence interval doesn't contain 1. That means lower value as well as upper value greater than 1. So, we can say that this is the risk factor and significantly associated with outcome. Additionally, based on the third example, the value is less than 1 and confidence interval contain 1. <coughs> so, it is protective factor and no significant. Finally, the fourth example, the risk ratio less than 1 as well as the lower value and upper value also less than 1. So, it is protective factor and significantly associated because the interval doesn't contain 1. So, if the number of factor was very large like 10 or 100, then from the numeric value, it is very difficult to assess the association or not association within a few seconds or few minutes. So, if we plot it in a graph paper, then it is really easy. For example, the reference value is 1 because if we if the value of RR is 1, then there is no association and left hand side represents decreased risk and uh, right, right hand side represents the increased risk. So, if we plot the first example, then the obviously we can say that the this is the risk factor. But if we plot the confidence interval, then we can see that the, the interval contain 1. So, since the value 1 cross the interval, so this is not significant. And the second example clearly observed that the interval doesn't contain 1. Similarly, the third example contain 1 and the fourth example doesn't contain 1. So, if we assess the graph, then it is clear that which factor is significantly associated, which factor is risk factor and which factor is protective factor. So, if we use the plot to represent the confidence interval, then it is very easy to understand and it is easy to interpret. This is called forest plot. So, for meta-analysis, 
I will use this plot to represent the finding. Thank you.